Hi everybody, good morning. I'm continue doing uh, uh, Hackfinity Battle in Core. The next one, Dark Encrypt 2. In Dark Encrypt 1, if you remember Dark Encrypt 1, there wasn't upload file, there was a text inbox, and then you select this and send. And one about it is that uh, um, we are able to to do command injection. I remember we, uh, there's a video I did it before of that. So l l let's say uh, because it's a, l let's just try a test file test.txt and just just with anything test. So just select anything. So if I upload for example a file test. It upload and tell you is upload in if I point in that it's it's an upload folder that's one thing and then these random generated uh, numbers and then JPG uh, remember what what is uploading because now if I go to my command dot uh, e it's an encrypted file so it's not like you think you're doing a shell upload shell so there's no point of the shell here at best of I understand it. So even if we upload the PHP shell or Python shell or this shell, we only get in the upload. The upload is the encrypted file. So now the idea if to say upload shell to the upload folder doesn't work because we are not uploading anything. So we need to do command injection. Command injection in a file itself is not, I don't think it's possible. The in encrypted number one, the one we did before, this one, we the the injection was in the, in this part in the f when we doing the input it, it didn't work for this one I, I think I didn't test it I'm not sure so uh, let's uh, let's for example get uh, our bear burp it's easy to work with it for this scenario let's let's close burp so if I do encryption upload we go to burp Hello, my friend Burp. Now we have the the Burp, so this is a request. Send it to Repeater. Uh, let me cancel this. I don't like a Burp in my browser. I keep running circle. So now let's go to Burp Suite and uh, and see what we have here. In Repeater, so this is the normal request. Uh, I just make it bigger. So it make it. Uh, Is that uh, okay? So this is the request. So it post request is uh, our file name, file data. These tricks usually sometimes we change the file name or if you play with it. Like uh, this is a room. I remember where you do uh, uh, what's that thing? Two something. The space, but not for this one. So now this is more dead end in this part. So you don't have too much control. I'm not sure if there is a control. What do you call you? Because the file that upload in the upload folder is the encrypted one, not what we sent. So this one is not. Now the question is, can we play with this cipher? Remember, we, we the idea is uh, the encryption. Last time, if you remember that room, I think it was uh, running like uh, encrypting.py and take uh, whatever option to give it uh, the option so in this case uh, this recipient or something and then whatever you type to it and then the file name and then maybe it upload it somewhere the, the jpg file so can we control this part so if we inject something here maybe we can control it so let's do the, the, the classic uh, usually you could do uh, the ls one like we did in the other one if you go there it's a download the crypto file encrypted successfully in uh, that but but well, that's very strange you didn't complain about uh, any error it said file encrypted successfully uh, you're serious it did work huh no, but command like that, uh, it, it maybe it went to through. Uh, let's do some another trick. I'm surprised it worked. <laughs> Sometimes when you do video, things start working and then you get confused. 
Let's see what happens if I do the dollar because I want to make it not text execute. A game should attempt to register but may have failed. Hmm. But remember, it's not out outputting our stuff, so we need to send it. So the idea is can we send this result somewhere else? Hmm. To send, of course, the, the, the classic. Let's go with the classic without fancy stuff. Let's say NC minus LVMP. Uh, le listen import 9000 for example so how can we send this data of ls out uh, for example we have an nc we can use nc so it's not like uh, so we can see ls then pipe it to nc to our ip address for example which is is uh, 248.189 my port is 9000 so let's see what happens if i send it now i got app up one flag key static and upload so we got already the flag here let's cancel that um, so let's go back now uh, if we do that I can cut and then I'm not showing the flag head minus c7 flag to txt you can do cut flag to it directly so if you want uh, it's better do it yourself so now we have part of the flag so we so we know now what to do so we can send even uh, what's that uh, the file app.py so if, for example I can just say get app.py send it to me oh the, the server is not run if I send it there so now we have the file that uh, the encryption how it works app router Upload wherever this is. Where is that command that do the encryption? Uh, is it the wrong file? No, this is the up one. Where is the, the file that do encryption? Part join key recipient else download link is the file. This one. Where is the encrypting? Uh, Key static template upload. Where is the, the part of the, the script that do uh, method get post? We'll come back to it. We, we can also, for example, now if you, if you, if you if to make it stealth or something that usually you don't want to, too much text, maybe lose the format or something, you can do base 64 here and then call it to the NC for example did we put the NC on yeah it's on so if you if you want it to look nicer and then you can just go to uh, uh, offline chef and said to him okay I got this encryption there's too much of them uh, because sometimes if you send it like that text doesn't get the format doesn't uh, doesn't look nicer so uh, base 64 will keep it so if we copy now what we have here from B64 now we go to the file now so you can see now it's cleaner it's easy to read and you can copy it and save it now what we can do what other option we have well the other option we can we can still use uh, the NC and we can use for example uh, because now we know we can do this dollar sign something like that we can use for example um, uh, ls and you can use curl here for example we can uh, uh, throw it to what i'm doing throw it to curl not nc uh, and minus d uh, why is that uh, things and then we call our uh, our NC file because it's curl curl we need let we don't do that like the NC so let's see this one work you can see that's why for example when you send the plain text uh, it gets smashed like that so for example if I want to look it nice I can just say push it to the base 64 and then call it to curl so now if I do that I get a nice base 64 and then if I just say equal, if 
for example there base <coughs> sorry base 64 minus d and then it will knock out so we know the file so now what's the next one next one we can do is reverse shell new to access the machine so let's get reverse shell reverse generator let's make uh, my port 91 uh, let's use my IP it's 248189 and then let's use the one that always work is this one let's go to my NC and put it in 91 and then we go to our web suite and then we can say uh, remove all of this so we don't need that and now I need the shell so if I go there now we got the shell who am I uh, clear not we not stable shell ID uh, where I'm uh, part of the ADM so it means we can play with the logs uh, ls now we had uh, we have the flag head minus c7 flag dot txt uh, we can go to uh, cut you know for example ls keys the keys that is using for encryption uh, let's cut that app.py I want to see the command I can't see it OS start now 36 I'm a bit blind I don't know where is it command uh, oh, that's our found receipt that's the one that we able to do so the trick in this one is because we have user input so the whole lesson in this room is because you have the reason to you can check which one is vulnerable this one you can say is a dead end because you know it's not uploading our shell here so we can't really so the idea to 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 play with this one maybe this one is the vulnerable part so um, yeah and you can play with different options as I said you can do this you can play with curl uh, you know the, 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 the curl command or the nc what else you can play with uh, I think that's the no, the, 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 the one new one so you have an nc or you can use the the, the curl minus the deep for a uh, post request or uh, yeah uh, so and then you just put your your IP wherever you have your IP for example like mine is 248189 and you put whatever port you want to see and then yeah so this is how uh, this encode what's the name of this room again uh, dark encryption 2 okay guys hope you like it and yeah if you have a question let me know and thank you very much and have a good day